Hello everyone, this session is going to give you a better insight into the code signing. So this will help you uh, to prepare uh, the different exams or um, you know in your daily life this is going to help you certainly. So code signing um, is, is, uh, is a process of digitally signing uh, any executable, any script, any document or uh, any code or anything which you want to uh, you know provide the authenticity again for the author and you want to uh, you want to maintain the integrity of uh, of your deliverables whatever you want to deliver it to uh, the the receiver this provides uh, the authenticity integrity as well as the non repudiation non repudiation means uh, that uh, the signer cannot successfully claim that they did not sign the message because ultimately uh, they are uh, maintaining the private key um, and they are ensuring that this remains the secret so why it is important uh, to uh, to sign anything let's take a look of uh, the importance of signing things one is the authenticity so uh, whenever the code or any document is is being delivered it can be verified that who signed the document who has delivered the uh, the the document or the code uh, this way you can you can check uh, the the author of uh, of that uh, document and uh, you know legitimacy of of that author next is the integrity so when uh, when when something is being delivered to you uh, it, it is very important to check uh, that this is not tampered on the way and uh, you know during the validation of uh, or the verification of the code uh, you can you can verify before you are going to install it uh, that this is not been tampered or modified by someone another is the non repudiation it is uh, as i mentioned this is very important concept uh, that is only being achieved with the help of signatures uh, that you know the sender cannot uh, deny that they did not uh, send anything to you next is the establish trust with the uh, certificate authority so uh, during the verification of uh, of the authenticity with the help of certificates but who has issued those certificates it is uh, it is to to establish that kind of trust because uh, the signer's certificate as well as uh, the issuer of that certificate you can establish the certificate the chain of the trust uh, along with the uh, the root certificate and uh, all the um, sub ca certificate if if it is involved fast and secure delivery what does it mean basically the processes can be uh, can be automated can be integrated so uh, these days uh, if, you, if you talk about the cloud, I think, uh, you know, the deliverables are, are going every hour or, or even, you know, uh, multiple times within 24 hours. And uh, several patches are, are going through the DevSecOps pipeline and CI pipeline to, uh, to um, you know, uh, to verify and validate. Uh, the features and uh, this, uh, this the code signing is happening and uh, you know it is being delivered uh, to the production environment so uh, this has to maintain the integrity authenticity and uh, the non repudiation um, aspect of the delivery so that it is being delivered uh, you know securely so there are key ingredients here uh, one is uh, the certificate authority um, that is uh, at the signers end i will not deep dive into uh, much into it because this is a very uh, very big topic uh, called as uh, public key infrastructure so i will um, i can uh, i can create a different video on that uh, but all in all at the, at the signer end uh, they have to maintain the certificate authority um, who will who will verify the certificate who will verify your CSR and uh, they will issue the certificate to you they will maintain the certificate authority sub CAs and uh, their hierarchy to um, to establish the chain of trust signing keys um, of, of course these are to be protected very securely in a very compliant hardware or uh, any equivalent which is which is SIP certified or so uh, to to you know um, to achieve a level of security timestamp authority this is this is an optional thing this timestamp authority is required mainly for 
uh, mainly for the certificates uh, or, or the signing services where the time is very important. For example, the online document delivery, uh, document signing, this is very important aspect for those, but not specifically for the code signing. The, the common part uh, between the signer and the verifier is uh, the code which is being delivered. Of course, the algorithms, uh, these algorithms are supposed to be common and uh, same um, on, on both the ends, on signer as well as on verifier end. Verifier is supposed to keep the certificates which are signed by this CA um, here. So this CA will issue the certificates and that certificate will be there with the verifier uh, end and uh, you know whosoever is issuing this certificate uh, along with the uh, with that certificate there will be uh, you know root of trust uh, root of trust uh, certificate as well and sub ca maybe it depends on the tier of uh, tier of the certificate authority that is that is implemented so uh, there will be chain of trust and to achieve that the verifier is supposed to verify um, uh, every certificate. For example, uh, the certificate C1, you know, um, let's say certificate C3 was signed by certificate um, C2 and then we may have one more C1. So this is the three tier uh, CA hierarchy where C1 is signing for C2 and C2 is responsible for signing C3. So why we do that, uh, this is the PKI concept uh, to, to distribute uh, the responsibilities uh, to the different uh, uh, different sub CAs uh, and to segregate the, uh, the duties for signing the different certificates. So what is the difference between uh, signing and encryption? This is very important concept and uh, we could confuse usually here. In, in terms of the encryption, uh, when the sender wants to encrypt uh, something and wants to send something secretly to a receiver, uh, the sender is supposed to use the same public key from the receiver. So this public key and this public key is same and the sender is supposed to encrypt the data using the same public key which is owned by a uh, receiver but this can be shared with the uh, with the uh, entities who wants to talk with this receiver but this private key is supposed to be secret and uh, to be maintained by this receiver here this cannot be shared with anybody else so that this data which is encrypted by the different entities can only be decrypted by this private key by this receiver only. So only the intended receiver can decrypt the data using its own private key. While um, in terms of signing it is uh, it is different. Uh, signer uh, is maintaining you know a key pair of uh, private and public keys and uh, signing uh, as part of the signing process the private key will be used here rather than the public key. So the private key will be will be encrypting the hash of the code or the document. So this hash is actually from the code or the document which is supposed to be signed. So actually we are not signing the document. We are actually encrypting the hash of that particular uh, code which we want to sign. Okay, and uh, the verifier will be using uh, using the same public key which is uh, the signer's one and uh, to, to, to verify the code whenever it is received using the same certificate, same public key after decrypting the hash and uh, all that will cover uh, how uh, it works. So here the signing process, uh, we have executable code uh, which we want to deliver. We have compiled that and uh, you know um, it, is, it is in the binary form uh, using a hash algorithm we extracted the hash uh, and this is uh, the hash is usually uh, the the one way hash has function one way function uh, what does it mean it means uh, uh, the the one way functions are irreversible uh, means anything we generate for example uh, the digest that we are generating using the hash algorithm it cannot be uh, reversed right uh, it means uh, using the same hash code 
we cannot uh, we cannot uh, reverse to the original message okay so this uh, hash message is um, uh, is 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 going to be used as a digest for encrypting uh, for the encryption and using this private key this hash can be encrypted and uh, as part of the delivery this executable code which is already signed and along with the certificate it is uh, it is supposed to be reached to the verifier they can be different delivery mo uh, delivery models we need to ensure that the certificate and uh, the executable codes are not going to be delivered uh, all together we need to ensure the, although the certificates are public but we need to ensure that someone who gets the executable and the sign code they should not be able to get the certificate and they should not be able to embed their own certificates uh, to to avoid any kind of uh, attack as part of the verification process once the once the verifier receives the executable code um, signature as well as the certificate as a step one it is supposed to inspect the certificate so uh, when we say inspect it means um, the verifier will need to have the certificate uh, any sub ca certificate or any other root certificate root certificate because to establish uh, the um, the chain of trust uh, they need to verify uh, all the certificates to to ensure that the certificate is issued by the uh, the the known ca and uh, the certificate is still valid the next step would be to um, to uh, perform the hash algorithm hash operation on the executable code and uh, and calculate uh, the new hash code on the same deliverables which are received here so this is on the on the deliverable and here uh, on the signed message using the public key the same digest is supposed to be decrypted using the public key here and we extract the original hash message which was actually signed at the sender's end so this is original and this is derived one and uh, during the verification of the deliverables these deli delivered uh, these derived uh, hash uh, code and the original hash code if these are same that means there is no tamper uh, tampering happen the uh, the code is uh, is not tampered and this is the original it is still maintaining its uh, integrity and it is uh, neat and clean so what are the best practices uh, for the signing infrastructure it could be uh, like um, restrict access to the signing keys and in the infrastructure uh, so two things here one is the signing keys um, you know storage it is supposed to be uh, within the hsm or any kind of uh, uh, hardware device where the access is supposed to be uh, restricted another is the infrastructure for example uh, you have integrated the signing process uh, in your uh, devsecops infrastructure as part of your ci pipeline so when you uh, when you uh, use those apis and and uh, you know those uh, those methods or those consoles to sign the code that infra is supposed to be access controlled and hardened enough so that uh, the illegitimate uh, access is not granted and uh, cannot be misused for signing any uh, malicious code uh, second point is to uh, protect the signing keys with the cryptographic hardware device as i mentioned the access to the signing keys it is supposed to be uh, you know protected with the help of cryptographic hardware device could be hsm or any other try to split pre production and the production environment uh, what does it mean uh, means uh, the signing keys which are being used for uh, the product pre production and for production these are should be separate um, the pre production keys should not be used in production or vice versa implement audit logs and audit process uh, in terms of the devsecops uh, or devops uh, the access to the hsm or to the signing keys should be uh, should be logged and uh, what was signed when it was signed 
So these things should be should be logged and should be auditable. Do not overuse one signing key. It means one signing key should be used only for the limited softwares, not to sign, uh, you know, hundred different softwares. We should avoid overuse overuse of one single key, because if one key is compromised, then you will have compromise. You will have impact on all of your products or all of your solutions. Implement virus scanning as part of the signing process. It is important when when we sign when we sign the software, we should just perform the virus scanning, because if the virus is embedded into your code into your uh, software, and you sign that code, then it becomes uh, you becomes the author of of that uh, virus. In fact, because you embed that uh, um, that virus into uh, um, into the um, into the, into your code uh, which you authored. Thank you. Thank you for watching.